Hey, welcome back to the art class. But before I get started, I gotta say this. Today is Cinco de Mayo! Thank you, General Ignacio Saragossa, for defeating the French on May the 5th, 1862. Saragossa defeated the French. Oh, they said, we can take down those Mexicans. They are no problem. And they went, we shall defeat you. And they did. Hats off to you, General Ignacio Saragossa. And thank you to the Mexican Americans in California for bringing this holiday tradition to all people of the United States. I am very grateful. Thank you. All right, now it's time to get down to business. Okay, so I'm going to introduce you guys to the new assignment. I'm also going to explain to you how to get some supplies if you need them. So, first thing I want to say about supplies I've got whole bunch of supplies, go check them out on my website. You're probably on my website right now, looking at it, checking it out. So you probably already know about it. Email me if you need anything specific. If you are completely out of everything, if you're like, I have nothing, maybe a pen or maybe a pencil, let me know. I can totally get that going for you. If you need something specific, let me know. I can get that going for you. But I'm gonna drive up to Trimble Tech tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm also gonna drive up Friday, and I'm going to be sitting in the back of my car passing out supplies. So I'm going to open up my back hatch, standing there selling goods on the street. So, with that being said, come on by Trimble Tech. If you cannot make it to Trimble Tech uh, between Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of this week, please shoot me an email saying, This is what I need this is where I can meet you, or this is my place of residence, and I'll do a curbside drop off. I'll put it in a little bag for you and drop it off for you. All right, supplies out of the way. If you have any more questions, email me, davidmwest at fwisd.org. New assignment. This new assignment is gonna be called Positive Negative Mosaics. So what it's gonna do is we're gonna combine observation drawings with the mosaic. Now I keep on saying mosaic. I've had a few people ask me, Mr. West, what is a mosaic? Let me explain it to you. All right, so a mosaic is whenever you take small bits of tile and create an image from it. People have been creating mosaics for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. I mean, hundreds. Everything from the Byzantine Empire, here's a really, really old one. Yep, Byzantine Art Project. They've been making mosaics. People from Latin American countries, ancient Latin American countries, they've, been, they've used mosaics. People have been making mosaics to create all sorts of things. It's essentially you just take small bits of broken tile and start gluing them together in small little pieces to create an image. That's pretty modern. That's a modern mosaic. There's a mosaic. In fact, you've probably seen mosaics before and you didn't even realize it. Mosaics are really cool. You've probably seen them on the side of buildings. You make a mural. Sometimes people make a mosaic out of stained glass using a, creating a stained glass window effect. That's a really, really old mosaic from the Byzantine Empire. Mosaic is whenever you take small bits of tile and put it together. Well, we don't have any tile, but what we do have is we have paper. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take paper, whether it be, you know, white color paper, and we're gonna take paint. Now, if you don't have paint, what you can do is you can take a marker, take off the back end right there, just take it off, bloop, and then take that little ink spot and put it in a cup of water. And then you take a brush, put it in the water with the ink in it, and then you just put it on your paper like this. And I'll demonstrate this for you in my next video. Then we're going to take that paper and we're going to cut it up, chop, 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 chop. You're going to make multiple colors. Like you don't have to use just one marker, but if that's all you have, then more power to you. That's what you can do. And then we're going to start making our own mosaic with this colored paper. So what are we gonna do? What are we gonna make? And I'll explain that to you next. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create another observation drawing. There's an observation drawing of a horse. Here's an observation drawing of some stuff that they found. We're gonna create an observation drawing. And again, y'all are gonna try your best. There's an onion. You're gonna create an observation drawing. And then you're gonna start filling in this negative space. You're gonna start filling in this negative space right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in on these sandals and I'm gonna explain to you what I mean when I say negative space. Now, when I say negative space, all of you should be pretty familiar with what negative space is because we've already done a positive negative study. 
So here's a positive negative study. Whenever we did this, and we everything that's empty is negative, and everything that's filled in is positive. Positive space with this black line, and all the space that's not being used is negative space. So what we're going to do with our mosaic is we're going to create a mosaic. We're going to get a bunch of colored paper. We're going to cut it up into pieces, and we are going to begin filling in all that negative space. Let me find a good design. There we go. So we're going to take a bunch of colored piece of paper like this. And we're going to start filling in all this negative space with that uh, colored paper. So we're going to begin filling in all this negative space with that colored paper. After we fill in all this negative space with that colored paper, we're then going to erase these lines. And once, once we erase these lines, these positive lines, it's going to become negative space. And this negative space filled with mosaic paper is become, going to become positive space. It's going to look something similar to this right here. It's going to look something similar to this. So what they did was they drew a stool. This student or this artist drew this stool. Really, they're the same thing. Anybody who draws is an artist. They drew a stool right there. And then in between all these lines, they filled in all this space. They filled it all in. So what, all this was once negative, but now it's positive. Then they erase this positive line, thus making this negative. Essentially the same thing, but instead of coloring it in with a crayon, we're gonna fill it in with a mosaic. So of course, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys demonstrations on how to create your mosaic paper and how to create your, and how to create an observation drawing. Now, I already have an observation drawing here. It's an older observation drawing I had whenever I did the demonstration of the gesture drawing. This is a gesture drawing of a pair of vice grips. So what I would do is if I were going to use this one, I would cut out my mosaic paper and start filling in all this negative space with mosaic paper. And then after I get done filling in all the negative space with mosaic paper, I would erase these pencil lines. All these pencil lines would be erased. I might go around here too. Now, if you remember my contrasting colors gesture drawing, it's essentially the same thing as the as this drawing right here, except instead of filling in all this negative space, filling it in all this negative space with, with this value, we're going to fill in all that space with mosaic, with mosaic. So it, you can actually create value with it, or you can just take your mosaic and cram it all in there whatever floats your boat. So I'm going to give a quick demonstration on how to do this probably Thursday or Friday. And of course, then you're going to turn in all your finals next Monday, probably next Wednesday, right around there if you want to work on it over the weekend. All right, so there's my explanation of the next project. If you guys want to go ahead and start doing some research on that, you can look up high school mosaics, observation drawings, things of that nature. Please remember to do an observation drawing of something that you actually see. Anything from watch my sombrero or a pen your hand of course i always like my sunglasses sunglasses are always fun i hope you guys get to work on this if you guys have any questions you're welcome to email me or you can join me on my google meet uh, class sessions from three to four every day i look forward to seeing what you guys can do if you have any questions or problems let me know i got your back thank you so much and i look forward to seeing your art if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe or go down there and write me a comment or hit like. I'd appreciate that. Thanks.